What's up guys, this is Olemers, watch the video in 1080p, I upload videos daily, so you should come check out my channel, and I just want to thank you guys for 500 subscribers, I know it might not be a lot to you guys, but for me starting out on YouTube, I always wanted to like have a lot of subscribers, because ever since I was like 10 years old, I've had a YouTube channel, and I thought 40 subscribers back then was a lot, and ooh, now I have 500. So today, as you can see by the title, it's why passive mode should be nerfed or taken out of the game. And I have a few reasons why, and I think you guys will actually agree with some of these reasons. Now the first reason why is, it's basically accepting defeat. If you don't really care how people think of you, then I guess it doesn't really matter. And, and if you don't even like start the fight, I guess it's okay, because there are some times where I don't want to fight someone and I do go into passive mode. It doesn't happen that often. A lot of times I'll just fight back until they go into passive mode or just leave the game. Another reason why it should be taken out is because people actually use it to escape fights that they have started themselves. And if you're going to start a fight with someone, honestly, you should just end it with them too. I mean, I don't start fights with people that are level 300 or 500. You know, it's just, I'm level 243 and... If you're minding your own business, or if they're minding their own business, you really shouldn't go up to fight them. So it's all your fault, and you shouldn't be able to use passive mode. Now another thing is, there is no counter at all. If you remember, last gen, you were able to, like, kill the person when they got in a car, you are able to hit them with a car, and there's really no counter at all, they go invisible. It's extremely cheap. You can also get bullied, let's say the person explodes your car and goes into passive mode, you order a new car, they can just hit the car away from you, or if you're standing on the other side about to get in, and go up to you, ram the car, hit you, and kill you. I've actually had that happen to me, and it's extremely annoying. Now the last point I have before I say some conclusions of what they can do to nerf it, um, the last one is, if you're killing someone or they start a fight, a lot of the times I've seen it be used is by them going into passive mode, driving to the airport, getting their Hydra out, and then disabling passive mode when they're like behind me, when I think they're not going to kill me because they're in passive. They disable it and shoot me down. That is not fair at all. Now something that Rockstar can do to nerf it is make it so that once you get into passive mode you have to wait like a full minute before you get out of passive mode, and while you're waiting that minute you should be able to be killed along with that they could make it so only so you could use it only like once an hour or something because people like to use it a lot like they disable it once they get killed they go back into passive mode now before I end the video I really want to say I like passive mode and I enjoy it whenever I want to use it and people aren't even like if I'm just minding my own business and someone comes up to me, I'll enable passive mode instead of killing them. That happens a lot. It can be extremely good to not waste your time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please share your thoughts below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you think I deserved it. See you next time. Also, thanks for 500 subs.